Much of the fighting here is taking place in the east and south of the country with Russia's defense ministry saying 200 targets have been hit today, mainly in the Donbass region, the former industrial heartland that hugs the border with Russia. But despite the attacks, the Russian offensive overall appears to have stalled in the east with reports of heavy losses. The BBC's Andrew Harding has sent us this report from eastern Ukraine and a warning, it contains pictures you may find distressing. A quiet village in the Donbass is saying farewell to Ivan Naduti, killed by a scrap of Russian shrapnel. The 30-year-old builder volunteered to fight the day after Putin's invasion. His wife begged him not to go. Now his father is lost in grief. But something else is stirring in this village and across this region a burning sense of defiance. He was defending freedom for every one of us, says a village elder, his lip trembling. Glory to our heroes. A lonely Ukrainian warplane thunders overhead. The front lines are just a town away to the north. And a defiant, blitz spirit is growing here too, as the bombs fall at random in places like Kramatorsk. Seizing this corner of eastern Ukraine, with its close ties to Russia, was supposed to be an easier task for the Kremlin's blundering army. But the blundering goes on. My shop is hardly a strategic target, says Lilia, with contempt. And all this is stiffening the resolve of Ukrainian soldiers. We met this tank unit, holding their ground at a spot where Russia has been trying to break through. They badly need better equipment, but they have other strengths. We are unity. We fight for our independence from Russia. Uh, Russian soldiers fight for money. They don't motivate it as we. The Russians have been pounding these frontline positions for weeks now, but the big picture here in the Donbass is that the Kremlin's offensive has largely stalled. They've taken hardly any significant towns, and the Ukrainians are making them pay a heavy price for every scrap of land. Further out in no man's land, Ukrainian volunteers collect the abandoned bodies of Russian soldiers. Too many to count, according to Alexei Yukov. I can't see how the Russian army can keep going. It's losing so many men, he says. I don't understand this madness. Back at the village, Ivan's father is still inconsolable. But his widow brings their five-year-old son to the graveside. He was a stubborn man. And a good man, she tells us, sounding resolute now, as the struggle for the Donbass grinds on. Andrew Harding, BBC News, in eastern Ukraine.